Thanks for coming back for more pie, everyone. So I am heading back from Texas today after a fun storm chase. Two days ago, I guess it's three days by the time this video is posted, I saw the most amazing supercell. It reminded me a lot of the one that I saw in Colorado way back in 2015. That was way before I was storm chasing seriously. And it just looked like someone was taking bread dough, twisting it and stretching it up into the sky. Ooh, funnel cloud, funnel cloud. Really? Totally a funnel cloud, yes, right there. There, come on, get the exposure up. Oh, no, exposure's fine. Uh, let's see, yep, it's coming down. Focus, good. Oh, oh but there's no sense in shooting that tail photo. All right, it's gonna get closer to this sucker. So that time lapse was incredible. I really wished I had taken some raw photos of it for a time lapse because then I would have been able to pull more color out of it. However, I just, after I saw that first funnel cloud, I really wanted to get close so I could fly my drone into it, but it never ended up producing anything after that. So I just let the time lapse from inside the car sit so that I wouldn't disturb it. That was really nice because I didn't have to travel much for the chase on the next day, which was on Wednesday, and that one, the storms just didn't cooperate. I did get a cool shelf cloud time lapse, and so that was fun to drive into a couple of times. I wish I'd stayed on that storm because later it did go tornado warned once it went into Fort Worth, and it did drop some giant hail up there, but I would decided to go back down south and watch a storm just fizzle before my eyes. So the SBC still has a 2% for today out in East Texas, but it's only a marginal risk and that the jungles get crazier out there in Eastern Texas. So I've definitely had my fill of Dixie Alley already this year. So I'm going to head back because I have a new upgrade for the Prius waiting for me. I just ordered a lift kit, which would be awesome because I'm so tired of scraping the bottom of my Prius. Because like my scrape guard is half gone and because of that my the splash guards that go around my wheels those have completely fallen off again. Well there goes my scrape guard so that will be very nice to install. I mean it's pretty expensive $350 just for some screws and four pieces of metal just to give me a grand total of an inch and a half of clearance on the Prius. Oh, and it's funny that I should bring that up because not an hour later after I shot that, I hit this triangular thing. Maybe I'll. Sheesh, that was a. What'd you hit on the road? I don't know. It was. I thought that was some tire rubber. A piece of my underskirt fell off instantly and I dragged it for a little bit before it finally escaped. So, and you may be able to tell how much I've been driving lately because I've had to get these wrist straps for my arms because the tendons have been just getting so sore in them. And on top of all that, there's definitely some things I need to get fixed. I've been hearing my wheel bearings making extra noise on certain roads, so I need to figure out which wheel that's coming from. But it's been nice, actually, car camping in here has never been more comfortable. I went ahead and uh, installed a nice bed that I'm just gonna keep in here permanently so I don't have to set up and tear down the air mattress all the time. I was able to cut a couple of mattress toppers to the um, dimensions of the Prius, so I was able to put a seat back up there and that gives me a little bit more space to work with. I've got a lot of car repairs that I need to save up for. So, because this Prius just when is now over 220,000 miles, and so it's official. I've put over 100,000 miles since my grandparents gave it to me a while ago. So yeah, between um, 
their mileage and my mileage. We've nearly gone to the moon in this thing, and we'll see how far we can keep going because used car prices are going up too. I have the money to buy another car. Still not sure if I'm going to buy another Prius yet, though. We'll see. Maybe maybe you guys could leave me some recommendations down in the comments for what kind of car. It has to be cheap and reliable. And a hatchback. Hatchback so I can sleep in it. That'd be awesome, too. All right, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this update video. I'm going to still try to get the, the Tornado Festival video out. I probably won't be able to get it up before I leave for the next storm chase. But we'll see. Until then, see ya!